What's up guys? So there is something that I want to talk and kind of get out there. There's so many misconceptions on things and this is something that I didn't realize uh, for the longest time um, and I'm just going to jump right into it. So there's people who assume that my mom sounds scripted or um, you know, oh, she's not, she doesn't sound like she used to, or she doesn't do what she used to do. You know, she's scripted now. She must write down her stuff be, uh, beforehand, blah, 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 blah. You know, I hear it all the time, and, you know, this is something that I used to believe as well. You know, I would watch a YouTuber for a long time and then over the time I would start thinking, wow, they really changed. Now they're scripted or they're clickbait or this and that. What we fail to understand as humans, unless we are in that situation, we have no right, no right to judge. And I say that very strongly because we as people evolve, okay, over time, if you take every celebrity, every news anchor, every weatherman, you take any single person in history that every day puts their face in front of a camera, every single day they talk in front of a camera, you take their first, second, third, tenth, twentieth video when they first started to how they are now and you will see and think, wow, they're scripted now. You have to understand... You know, sorry for raising my voice a little bit, but it is a very passionate thing that I feel with this subject. What people have to understand is that when you put yourself in front of a camera, I call it the public figure. If you are a public figure, you cannot stay the same or you will just go nowhere. Okay? If you stay the same... Hi guys, how are you doing? You know, you're going to be nothing but a robot and you will never go anywhere in life except, you know, maybe one person here, one person there or whatnot. But people that have a natural personality, public figure personality, naturally evolve. Even nine times out of ten, most of them don't even know it. They don't even know it. You know, only the people who watch from the very beginning to now can see a difference. But to the person recording that, to the person actually making the videos, they don't know any change because they naturally change. Just like when we are children, we are immature, we cry all the time, we fuss for toys that we don't need, we'll play with it and break it at one time and then cry and never, you know, a, a week later won't even care because we want something else. As children, we change, we evolve. Could you imagine if a child would stay a child the rest of its life? And it, which it's sad because there are people that actually do. And you can tell those kind of people. But could you imagine if everybody stayed a child the rest of their lives? What this world would be? Oh, the chaos and uh, I want this now, I want that now. Cry when they don't get something. Oh, could you imagine? So of course people change. You know, and it, it really frustrates me when people attack my mom saying she's scripted. Well, guess what? If you are in the public figure for three plus years, you're gonna, you're, you're just your personality, what you do, everything is gonna naturally change. You know, I don't think people understand that. I think people just uh, love assuming and they just love the drama of it. Um... So yeah, you listen to any celebrity, any music artist, even the Christian music artist. You take a look at when they first started their first interviews. You take a look at their interviews now. Nine times out of ten, they're dressed good. You know, their their grammar's better or they sound scripted. It's just when you're in the spotlight, you you just naturally change. You know, we as humans adapt to what our circumstances are. That's how God created us. So stop assuming people are scripted. We change. I hope you change. I sure as the sun shines, I am not the same man I was 10 years ago. Thank God I changed. But there are some people who 
just are programmed and refuse to change, and that's why they're living a nightmare for 20, 30 years. You know, when you refuse to change, your life is downgraded. You know, your life is not good. Um, and change is really, really good when you're in the public figure, you know, when you're in the public eye. You don't have to change if you have no interest in being in the public, but you're, you naturally change. You know, what I'm trying to say is someone who talks every single day versus someone who doesn't talk, you know, I don't talk that much. I'm starting to do more on YouTube, starting to be more involved, showing my face and stuff. And that's why minus my voice and a few different key things, you know, I'm not the same as what I was nine years ago and I'm not even in the public, you know, I all the time, you know, I'm getting more and more into being videos showing myself, but if I was like my mom, you know, every single day showing me and, and talking and this and that, I would not be talking this way. My, the way I'm talking now would be scripted sounding. That's just natural. We naturally evolve naturally. Now there are some who don't evolve and then they get left behind. Um, and that is fine if you're not in the public eye, but when you're, when you're in the public eye, you change, you don't even know it. These changes slowly happen. And that's why when you look at someone from five years ago to someone now, if they're in the public eye from five years ago to now, you will see they are completely different. You cannot tell me that they are, are the same person. You know, they're the same person, but they are different how they word things. You know, they're more conscious of what they're saying and so forth. So another thing I have to point out is my mom does not edit her videos like a lot of these YouTubers do. So when my mom messes up, she repeats herself. People think, oh, she must have wrote it down and said it wrong. No, my mother doesn't care what what the haters and trolls say so she doesn't edit out when she messes up so when she messes up you know let's say yeah the the weather is sunny shiny uh, 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 the weather is sunny outside today you know she doesn't edit that out like 90% of youtubers do they edit it out have you ever watched a youtuber and they're talking and all of a sudden you can see on the screen it kind of transitions like it's a split second and like the facial expression or the face is different from a second ago it's because they messed up and they edited it out that way you know to make it look perfect and my mom doesn't do that all the time you know when she messes up she just leaves it there so then people assume you know we as humans need to stop stop assuming if you stop assuming now in your life you will dramatically change how you treat your spouse, your family, how you treat your job, and everything in life when you stop assuming. We as humans like to assume things because it makes us think, well, you know, I'm right. Even though we're wrong. Um, there was a study, I think it was like 2016. Um, it wasn't John Hopkins. There's some big universe, some place that did a study on assumptions and people assuming things. And... It, it was, what was it, 70, no, 64, I think it was 64% of those that assumed something were wrong, and if they never assumed it in the first place, the stress level of their lives would have been dramatically decreased, which it's not hard to believe. I honestly think it's probably higher than 64%, but that's what the study was. Um, so, you know, we as people need to stop assuming, and we need to you know, ask questions. There's no such thing as a dumb question. For example, if you wonder something about me or my mom, how about you simply say, hi, you know, I don't quite understand why are your, why is your voice different from five years ago to now? Even though that's kind of a common sense thing, you know, people change, their voices change. I mean, I could show you, well, if you guys look at on my channel, if you look at my oldest video, so if you would go to Scott's Honest Reviews, this Scott's Honest Reviews was my original YouTube channel called Wanger Time Eighty Nine. Hello everyone, welcome back to. Um, if we would go on, if you would go to my main page, Scott's Honest Reviews, and then you would click uh, videos, which is right beside the Home tab and the Playlist tab, and then 
right under that once you click the videos it will show uploads or play all if you click the little arrow pointing down under uploads it will bring up a little tab that says all videos uploads live streams liked videos if you would go under all videos and select all videos oh no okay no never mind scratch that part see like now you know I messed up most people would edit that out and jump right to it so when you click the videos um, home tab you know right beside home and playlist once you click that if you hover over to the right side you'll see something called sort by if you click that you can sort it by date added and it will say oldest so then you can see my oldest video and if you watch my oldest videos I talk differently I act differently um, now back then I actually wasn't really in videos it's very far and few between I mean you can my first video ever uploaded was me singing well my singing videos now versus then are different I still suck but <laughs> um, you know it's different um, and these were nine years ago but yeah back then I you know I'm trying to look through here I don't even know if I have any vlog where I can show you guys uh, I'm looking eight years ago I'm trying to find a vlog um, to show you guys my voice I mean <laughs> what man it, it's actually kinda of fun looking back um, yeah you know I'm eight years still I don't see any video of me in a vlog here we go my 300th YouTube video check it out this is eight years ago so I'm gonna let it play um, and all right I gotta pause this all right this is me hey what's up everybody this is wanger time 89 so I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for my 300th video start off I'd like to give a few shout outs first of all to my amazing wife for sticking up with me through thick and thin now that is something I would edit out because back then um yeah how do I get in this back then I was married before um before not to get in too much back then I was married before and I put up the biggest front ever in anything I did in public I made it seem like my life was good and honestly my life was living blank um, it was a bad life um, and but I put up this front because I was just trying to hide who I really was in my situation um, you know my life was horrible I married the wrong person um, don't get me wrong there were good times but you know when the bad times came they were horrible um, you know it's it's something that I don't really want really to want to get into and talk about because I basically was at the point close to suicide because I hated my life that bad because nothing I did this I couldn't please this person you know um, there were days that they wouldn't come home even weeks they wouldn't come home sometimes they'll come home in the middle of the night um, now granted there are situations and there's always two sides to every story but I I tried my all I tried my best and the way they were raised the what and they, that's a good example of people refusing to change you know she refused to change and my life was just horrible um, so yeah let's get back to this part to do any of that stuff so I kind of learned on my and doing all that so Right now, I own a 1979 Chevy C10 454 big block. It's it's not bad. I love it. It's about I'd say 95% restored from the bottom up. It's got about 10 to 15 thousand miles on the motor. Um, it's definitely definitely a very fast truck. I'm currently getting some exhaust stuff changed around in it, so. You can check out my videos and see what it sounds like before and after and see what it looks like. Uh, right now, I've currently been married. So, with that video being said, you know, if you can tell, I'm not the same as I used to be back then. You know, back then, um, yeah, guys, I have a truck and I, uh, you know, my voice kind of stayed the same, you know we all change you know our voice goes higher and lower as we talk as we get more comfortable in a camera when you're not comfortable in a camera you're just kinda 
kind of like a deer in the headlights, you know. Yeah, guys, uh, I have a Ford Mustang. I just uh, put exhaust on it, and I uh, think that it's fast. It's really fun to drive. You know, that's how you are when you first start out. You're kind of like, unless you naturally have that, you know, public figure personality. Um, I do want to recap on something about this. Um that people might have some questions on. Yes, I was married before. Um, I gave it my all. I gave five years of, I would, I would say four years were living nightmare. Um, I don't know who she is today, and I hope her life is doing good. And I really, you know, I had I had to get away. And I, like I said, I was at the point of suicide. I hated my life. I, you know, everything was horrible. My life was horrible. And it wasn't because it, I didn't try. I gave it my all. I can sit here today and say I gave it my all to try and, and show her, you know, what she was doing. You know, neglecting me, treating me like I was worthless. You know, she made me believe that I was a piece of trash. That, you know, I am, I was somebody that if I died in this moment, good. You know, that's how she made me feel. And like I said, you know, there were good times. I will not deny that. There were some good times. But the bad were... The bad made the good times just fade away. Just fade away completely. And at my lowest point, I asked God... You know, I... I asked God, you know, what I do. do I, I, I didn't know. You know, I was going to give up my life. I was willing to quit my job for this. I was willing to do all kinds of things to, you know, fix whatever I could, you know... But God showed me that it wasn't I, it wasn't my decision to fix it or not. I think God hardened her heart for a reason. Um, and at my all-time low, one day, I felt the Holy Spirit come to me and say, Scott, this is not your life. This is not what I have planned for you. So I felt him coming to me. And at that moment, I decided to make a change and change my life. Um, and it, I had to do it because I would not be the man I am today. In fact, I would be, and I'm not lying. I would be probably 400 pounds or I would be six feet under. Um, you know, th those were the two options. I, I would have, I would have gave up on my life because, and I did, you know, for a couple months I gave up and then I, you know, was at my all time low and that was my all time low in my life. So that's a quick recap. I don't like talking about it because I don't, I, you know, the, there's some things in the past that are good to talk about. And then there's some things in the past that are great to learn about, to learn from. And then there are some things in the past that shouldn't be brought up um, and shouldn't be mentioned because it does no good anymore. You know, there's no point in it because if, you know, yeah, so I'm not getting into that. Um, maybe someday when I'm, you know, we can do a full video on my entire life story. I don't know. We'll see. But so, yeah, you know, people change. I changed from then and I'm not And back then. I wasn't even in, you know, the public eye. You know, I did videos, but I showing my face was far and few between. I mean, I'm scroll, scrolling down here. And if you guys go and look at my oldest videos and you see, you know, I'm scrolling down and I'm very, very rarely in any videos. You know, I don't show my face. Very rare do I show my face. Um, and, and a long time ago, I used to actually change my music, my singing, because I didn't even want my voice being out there, you know. So looking back, oh my gosh, wow. The video quality is horrible. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I'm not the same as I was, and I haven't even been in the public eye. You know, I haven't even shown my face every single day, every video. So you have to understand, please just stop assuming. <sighs> Doesn't matter what I say because there will always be those that will continue to assume because they find it fun and downgrading others. But So that is my take today. Let's stop assuming. And when people, when we hear someone we think they're scripted, maybe take a look back and see where they came from and see and understand. Have a little compassion and understand people change. Everybody changes. You know, everybody, you listen to Tim Tebow 15 years ago, you listen to Tim Tebow now, his voice, everything's changing. You know, a lot of people say his voice sounds gay, you know, versus 
long time ago they said it was more manly and now it sounds more feminine you know well that's because <sighs> do I really want to get into all this because people no matter what Tim Tebow's voice has changed from when he was younger to now his it's got higher and what you have to understand is it's just like people who own pets. Their voices will naturally change and get higher because you treat your pet like kind of like a kid, you know, like, come here, Emma, come, come. You know, when you start doing that stuff a lot with your pets, you know, talking like they're a child, you know, when you start doing that a lot, it changes your voice. My voice is getting higher because, and I noticed it was as soon as I met my wife and we, the dog. You know, I wasn't a big, I was not a big dog person a long time ago. Now I love dogs. Um, you certain breeds, you know, basically Australian Shepherds, um, Golden Doodles, Huskies, um, Shelties. You know, I like German Shepherds, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have one. Um, even though I grew up with them. Golden Retrievers, I like. I don't really like bigger dogs now, but I don't like the small little. Yappers. I'm not a fan of the yappers. I like in between of a golden retriever and a poodle. So in between that height is what I love. Um, so yeah, my voice naturally is changing because of that. I talk higher now than I used to. Um, I lost some of that, you know, deeper voice. And you know, that's just it's kind of like Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow, his life works around special needs people. So his he his naturally he's changed. His voice, because he talks to them a little bit differently than, you know, you and I would talk to just, you know, amongst each other. Um, and a lot of people make fun of him for that, and I think it's a shame. Tim Tebow is one of my heroes. Um, Tim Tebow, I would say, um, my two biggest heroes is Tim Tebow and uh, Tim Tebow. And Billy Graham. Those are probably my two biggest heroes. You know, or earthly heroes, obviously. Um, so, alright guys, this video is long enough. I, I just wanted to address this a little bit. But I know no matter what I do, people are still going to be the same way. But maybe some of you guys, maybe this will help some of you guys out there to understand a little bit more. That it's not what you think, you know. She's not scripted, I'm not scripted. And as I get more involved with be showing my face on the camera... You know, I'm going to get more of that way too. It's just our human natural abilities evolving. You know, it's someone who doesn't go out of the house for years and years and years. They talk slower and fumble around a little more than people who are naturally always on the camera. It's just how our bodies naturally change. It's just like when we are in a dark area. Let's say you're in a pitch black area for three, four days you know, no light at all, you adapt to your situations. Have you ever noticed that when you go to bed, um, let's say it's, you spend all day in the evening with the lights on, everything's bright, and you go to bed. Right away when you go to bed for the first five, ten minutes, you know, the room seems really dark. But if you close your eyes for five, ten minutes, and I would say about, yeah, five, about five, ten, fifteen give or take minutes, you close your eyes, the room is dark, you know, no lights are on, and you open your eyes up, you can actually see around the room much better than when you first go to bed and turn out the lights, because you adapt, our bodies are built to adapt, and it's no different when you're in front of the camera for many, many years, hope that helps you guys.